Hi you guys, it's Alyssa. I am back. I hope you are all doing lovely today and I hope you didn't miss me too much while I was gone on my little impromptu vacation. Um, this past week I just had a lot of stuff going on with like my regular job and then personal life stuff happening and on top of that I had a ton of private readings to do. Um, but now I'm all caught up and as of tomorrow, March 1st, I will be taking orders for personal readings again. So if you have been wanting to get one, um, you can go ahead and jump on that tomorrow. Um, so the, uh, subject for today's reading is who is my next spouse going to be? I've gotten requests, um, to do a reading like this for a while and uh, I'm wording it this way just because I know that, you know, some people have been married before. <laughs> All right. Um, so it, this is just going to be a, a good old fashioned pick a deck. Uh, we got one, two, three, four and five. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the card on the bottom of the deck. So that will maybe make uh, help you to make your decision. Um, so let's start with number one on the bottom of the deck is the page of pentacles. All right. That's some good old earth energy on the bottom of this one. We have, oh, we have the tower card. Okay. And over here we have the high priestess. For group number four, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. And for deck five, we've got the Ten of Vessels. Lovely. All right, you guys, so go ahead and make your choice. Um, I've also had people asking in the comments of some of the videos, like what decks I'm using, and I have started putting in the description a list of all the decks that I use in each video. So um, if you're curious about what any of these decks are, you can just check the description um, and it will be, they will all be listed there. So yes, um, who is the next person you're going to marry? Who will your next spouse be? Um, let's just go ahead and get started with deck number one, shall we? All right, group number one, who is the next person you're going to marry? We have the four of cups, the world, seven of wands, 10 of swords, the fool, Okay, Nine of Swords, Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, I feel like that's how that should go, and the High Priestess. All right, um, and on the bottom now we have the Tower card. So, group number one, who is the, uh, who is your next spouse going to be? All right, so I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is somebody that you already know. It's somebody that you probably already, um, probably you've already been in a relationship with, maybe not like officially, but I just feel like you've had a lot of experience with this person, okay? Um, and I'm saying that because I mean, we have the Ten of Swords here, so this is telling me that there was some kind of some kind of issue between you, some kind of something really painful happened that's being indicated here by the Tower card, right? The Tower is a, a sudden kind of unexpected change, like a huge like upheaval, right? Um, and we also have the Eight of Cups, which is about walking away from something. So I definitely feel like this is somebody that you 
were in a relationship with or you were um, in a like a situationship with um, and something happened between you and you somebody walked away okay um, I feel like this is also somebody that you right now are really not considering um, because we have the four of cups here which this card tells me that you know, this card is about boredom. It's about apathy. Um, it's kind of about, like, uncertainty. So I feel like right now you are kind of apathetic towards this person. You might be, like, you might be saying to yourself right now, like, oh, hell no. I am never going to let this person back into my life because they caused me so much pain. And they are such a pain in the ass themselves. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with their nonsense anymore. Um, however, I feel like when this person, I feel like this person's going to come back. I don't see this happening like anytime soon. Okay, so I mean, don't don't worry too much about that. Um, but I feel like this person's going to come back, and they're going to be. A changed person okay we have right here in the middle of the spread the fool card which is about a new beginning okay, right it's about a brand new a brand new start to a brand new journey we also have the eight of Pentacles which tells me that whoever this person is is kind of um, is working on themselves right the eight of Pentacles is about putting in putting work into something making making the effort it's like it's like that blood, sweat, and tears kind of thing. But I feel like all of their blood, sweat, and tears is going into changing um, for the better, like as a person, who they are. Um, so I think when this person comes back into your life, they're going to be a changed person for the better, right? Um, I also feel like this is someone who probably lives at a distance from you with the world card being here. Um, could be physical distance or, um, for some of you, it could just be indicating the fact that you are emotionally very distant from each other. Maybe you're not in contact with one another or whatever. Um, I feel like most of you probably are not in contact with this person right now, which is fine, um, because they're still working, right? Um, and with the High Priestess, this card is about, uh... It can indicate that there is something that is unknown to you now, or something that is hidden. And I feel like what this thing is, is, um... I feel like this is kind of talking about the fact that, like, this is going to be something very unexpected. I feel like this person's return is going to be pretty unexpected. And... Like I already said, it feels like whoever this is, right now, you've totally written them off. Like, you don't want them. <laughs> but when they come back, it's going to be kind of like a rekindling of your feelings towards them. And it's going to be kind of unexpected. And, like, and I mean, like, oh, I, di I didn't know that, um... I didn't know I still had feelings like this for this person. Like, they're 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 just like buried deep right now and um, <laughs> kind of repressed. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, this person I'm seeing is going to make a return, and it's going to be unexpected. Um, but I don't see this happening for some time. Probably not for. Probably not for another year at least, just based on how this energy feels. Because I feel like this person is still hard at work, you know, making some changes in their life. And um, this they're not going to come back around until they're ready. And I feel like it's, um, when they do come back, I feel like it's not really going to be intentional. I feel like they're just going to kind of... Um, slowly be like reintegrated into your life like you might bump into each other somewhere and and like strike up a conversation or 
there's going to be some like circumstantial thing that makes you like have to interact with each other for some reason and then it'll just go from there right does that make sense um yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. So you guys, group one, this is somebody that you already know, that you've already dealt with in the past. And probably for a lot of you, this is somebody that you are not, you're not feeling right now. <laughs> and that's fine. Because um, I feel like some of you guys, this is you as well. The seven of wands. This is like, you've got this big old stick, like ready to like fight this person off if they try to come near you again. <laughs> um... But, like I said, I feel like when you get in touch with this person again, for whatever reason, um, they're going to be a totally different person and it's going to surprise you, okay? So, um, do I want to pull any oracle cards? I don't know. Do I want to... You know what? I don't think I'm going to talk about physical appearance or anything like that in this uh, for this video, um, because you know your your physical appearance is so changeable, right? Um, but like you guys, I feel like most of you know who this is. Most of you probably know who I'm talking about, so. You don't really need me to describe them, <laughs> do you? Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. I think I want to pull some of these cards, actually. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot. That's too many. Tell us a little bit more about this person, just to get some confirmation. What do you need to release? This is talking about um, you. This is talking about any um, negativity, any hard feelings that you may have towards this person. This is like a sign that you need to let go of them if you still have them, right? And a personal issue reaches resolution. I feel like that's what this person is going through. This person is like, has some kind of issue that was probably the cause of you guys splitting up in the past that they're working on fixing. So it's like this problem is, they're, they're approaching a resolution to this, whatever this problem was. And I feel like for some of you guys, it might have been like they were fighting, um some sort of addiction, or for some of you guys, it was like they were talking to other people, like, you know, flirting with other people, and you didn't like that. Um, but I feel like this person is maturing, okay? Because the Eight of Pentacles is a really, um, you know, it's only two away from the Ten, so it's a fairly matured, uh, mature kind of energy. It's, you know, it's dedicated energy, right? Um, so yeah, I feel like you'll be surprised when this person returns. I'm also hearing August. So for some of you guys, August might be significant. It could be that their birthday is in August, or maybe you met in August, or something significant happened between you in August. I'm not sure what that's all about. Take it however it resonates with you. Um... Yeah, I didn't really come up with the actual, like, spread for this. I'm just kind of winging it. And I I think group one, that is, that's all the messages that I'm getting for you today. So, um, I hope this reading resonated with you. I hope you enjoyed it. That's kind of the gist of um, your next spouse. All right. Um, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time, group number one. Bye-bye. Okay, so group two. Who is your next spouse going to be? I mentioned this in group one's reading, but I am not going to be talking very much about like physical characteristics um, because, you know, your appearance is so changeable. I'm just going to be talking about more about like the person's energy and... Um, any like history you may have with each other or uh, 
if, if I feel that it's someone you already know, or if it's someone new, I'm going to talk about like how you might meet this person or whatever. All right, so the first card we have is the Seven of Swords. Let's see. We have the Two of Two of Swords. Oh. We have the Eight of Cups. So right away I feel I'm getting a lot of air energy. Oh my goodness. There is the Three of Cups. Oh. There's the Fool, there's the Knight of Pentacles, there's the Devil. Okay, Two of Cups and Four of Wands. Wow! All right. Um, and on the bottom of this deck is the Six of Pentacles. Okay. So, let's see. All right, so Group 2. Um... It's funny because you have in the center of your spread the Fool card, and Group 1 also had this in the center of their spread. Um, I feel like this is somebody that you already know. Um, however, I don't think that you've actually ever been in a relationship with this person. Like this, It doesn't feel like this is an ex or anything. It feels like maybe this is just somebody that you are kind of friends with or acquaintances with because... The Three of Cups here, right, that card gives me the feeling that um, maybe you have mutual friends or you hang out sometimes or you used to hang out. Um, the Eight of Cups here is kind of, um, this card makes me feel like that this is someone who is very, um, kind of shy around you or you are shy around them because like I feel like there is attraction between you but nobody nobody's acting upon it nobody is making any moves um possibly because you're afraid that they're not interested in you or vice versa okay so there's like a little bit of a um a, la a lapse, or, or I guess I should say um, a deficiency in communication, like they don't know how you feel or you don't know how they feel or because I, I, I kind of feel like you guys are both just kind of really smitten with each other with this two of swords um, but the seven of swords and the eight of cups, it's like Mm. <laughs> it's like nobody's neither of you are willing to make a make a real move towards the other person okay um and so as a result you both feel like the other person's not interested <laughs> um however i feel like you know I mean, obviously, the, the point of this reading is, you know, who is your next spouse going to be? Um, and we have the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands. So, like, obviously, somebody's going to make a move eventually, right? And I feel like this relationship is would will be um, very, very satisfying and, and very loving. Um, the Fool card, you know, this is a new chapter in your relationship with each other that is on the horizon. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles here, this is about waiting. So, because the Knight of Pentacles, you know, he's not in any hurry to do anything. Um, so I feel like... Hmm. I kind of get the sense that m maybe... Because I feel like this Knight of Pentacles is maybe their energy, even though it's Earth. Um, and like I said, for, for some of you, I feel like this person is definitely an air sign. Um, but I mean, this, the sign doesn't really matter. Um, 
I just feel like this is someone who's pretty communicative for the most part. Um, but when it comes to this kind of thing, like relationships or like, you know, um, they get kind of shy, they get kind of awkward, um, <laughs> they don't really want to, um, they're kind of afraid of approaching people that they're interested in, you know what I mean? Um, but in, like, any other context, I feel like this person is very, very articulate, like, they handle themselves well, but, like, when it comes to people they're interested in, they're just they just become, like, super awkward and weird. <laughs> so, um, you may not be aware that this person is interested in you, okay? Um, and I feel like if, I feel like for most of you, this person will make a move towards you. However, with this card being here, I feel like it's going to be a while. I feel like it's going to take them a bit to, you know, work work up the nerve and figure out like how they're gonna do it and I mean I feel like it's I feel like it would be worth the wait um because this person feels like somebody uh that really has it together um and who is very genuinely interested in you um so, you know, and, and also I get the sense that, like, um, for a lot of you guys, you may not want to make the first move just because I'm getting the sense that, like, trying to rush anything with this person would not end that well, <laughs> okay? Um, but yeah. Uh, that's what I'm getting so far. Let me just pull out a couple oracle cards, and then I think we will wrap this one up. That's too many cards. Alright. Okay. Um, yeah. Oops. We've got... A new start is coming, so that's basically the same thing as the full card, right? Um, if you have been kind of pining away for this person to, to, you know, make a move or give you an indication that they're interested, that's going to come, okay? Um, and then we have your commitment is being tested. So this is kind of like, whenever I see this card, it tells me that whatever you're waiting for, or whatever you, um, yeah, whatever you've been waiting for to happen is going to be worth it in the end. It's just like, you know, how committed are you to getting, uh, or, or to achieving this particular goal, right? Um, in this case, the goal would be getting with this person. Um, so it's kind of like, how serious are you about, you know, um, waiting for the right person and that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, group number two, that's really all the messages that I'm getting for you today. That is the um, gist of who your next spouse is going to be. Um, I feel like, For some reason, I feel like a lot of you guys, um, this is a Gemini. Gemini sun, moon, or rising. Um, just feels like somebody that has a lot of Gemini qualities, okay? Um, so yeah, and like I said, I'm not really going to go into the um, physical details or anything like that. I just, I want to leave it kind of open. Um, so, yeah, group number two, I hope that resonated with you, and I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group number three, which was the Santa Muerte Tarot. All right, group three, who is your next spouse going to be? Um... Whoa. That's like way too many cards. The 
there's the sun card. Oh, wow. There's the Ten of Cups. Oh my god, you guys. There is Temperance. This energy feels new. Feels new to me. Oh, there's the Seven of Swords, though. Hmm. There's the Eight of Cups. Interesting. The Hanged Man and the Magician. Page of Swords. And the Five of Cups. Interesting, guys. Oh, and on the bottom of the <laughs> on the bottom of the deck is the Two of Cups. So we've got a lot of good cards here, and we've got a lot of, uh, or we have a few um, not so good cards. But let's see what's going on here. Um, I honestly feel like this is somebody that you probably don't know yet. Okay, guys. However, I feel like. This is somebody that you will undergo some trials with, so to speak. It, this feels like it could be a karmic thing. Um, possibly. But basically what I'm seeing is that when the two of you meet... Um, Things are going to be really good. We got the Sun card. We've got the Ten of Cups. Happy, fun, loving, family, relationship, satisfying. You know, it's like everything you could possibly want. It's like a very healing relationship. It's a very, um, kind of makes you feel brand new. You know what I mean? Um, however... I, uh, <laughs> I'm seeing that you guys at some point are going to end up kind of, um, kind of walking away from each other because with the Seven of Swords being here, I'm seeing that there's going to be some sort of deception or some kind of secret that's going to come out that is going to result in the two of you parting ways for a while. Um, and then I feel like with the hanged man, there's going to be like this kind of suspension of the connection, like, you know, what's going to happen now? Are we going to get back together? Are we not going to get back together? The magician card I'm seeing, you know, this card's about creation. It's about, you know, creating something. Um, so I feel like you guys probably will try to work it out. Um, and the Page of Swords, this tells me that, you know, someone's going to, whatever this, like, dishonesty or deception was, I feel like it's going to come, it's going to be, um, it's going to be remedied. Like, I feel like the truth will come out and there will be, like, honest communication and, um, an attempt at patching things up. However, our last card here is the Five of uh, Cups, which is about sadness and grief and, you know, that kind of thing. So I'm not really, uh, but, but also your overall energy is the Two of Cups. Um, so I'm not really sure... This person might be, um, this person might be your next spouse, but I feel like they probably won't be your last. <laughs> um, but, you know, that's, that's okay. Um, cause like, the overall energy is really good, and, you know, these first three cards we have here are extremely positive, so I feel like you will be very happy for, you know, for a while. Um, yeah, I think this is, I feel like this is probably something karmic. 
um, because I, I do feel like you're going to end up parting ways for good in the end. Um, and, you know, usually karmic partners, like once they, once you learn the lesson you're supposed to learn from them, you don't really, you don't really come back together because there's no need to, right? Um, it's, it's time, you know, to part ways. It's time to move on. Um, so, yeah, group three. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, but let's see. Let's see what Oracle cards we get for you guys. Because I feel like I still don't know a lot about this person, like, what their actual energy is. Like, I feel like I've gotten the story of what your relationship will be like, but I don't really, I haven't really gotten a sense of who they are. You know what I mean? We have don't let your past hold you back, and we have your commitment is being tested. So... Um, I feel like this is someone who's very hardworking. I feel like this is somebody who has been through a lot in their past, who has overcome many obstacles, who I feel like this is somebody who probably came from nothing and kind of clawed their way up to something better. I feel like this is somebody who kind of made a vow to themselves that they were going to be something. They were going to make something of themselves. Because maybe their circumstances growing up or the environment that they were in growing up was not good. Um, maybe they didn't have a lot of opportunities in their youth. And so I think as this person has gotten older, you know, they have been determined to make something of themselves, to, to be better than what they came from. You know what I mean? Um, and like I said, I feel like a lot of you haven't met this person yet, or if you have, I feel like you don't really know them that well. Um, but I get the sense that um, you might meet this person soon. And, like, I don't want you guys to try to avoid this relationship just because I'm seeing it ultimately ending. Like, I don't, I don't want you to be scared of it when it, comes, when it comes in, like, when this person comes around. I don't want you to be afraid of it. I don't want you to, like, try to avoid it. Because um, if it's karmic, like, then it's going to be for your, great, for, your, for your highest good, ultimately, right? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... This isn't anything that you should be afraid of. This isn't anything that you should try to avoid. Um, this is something that, like, I think you're going to grow a lot from. And I feel like, in the end, you'll be able to look back on it, you know, positively and, and see, like the good in it, and I feel like, ultimately, you guys, I feel like you and this person, even though I'm seeing that for a lot of you, like, your romantic relationship will come to an end, I'm seeing also that for a lot of you, you're going to remain friends with this person, probably, because I feel like you will just really vibe with this person just really, really well, you know what I mean? I mean, Two of Cups, this card is like, this is like one of the soulmate cards, right? So, you know, you're, I feel like you and this person are just kind of of, you're of the same stock. You know, you have a lot in common. And just because, you know, your romantic relationship doesn't work out, doesn't mean that you can't be friends, right? So, um, yeah, interesting. All right, group number three. Um, that's pretty much all the messages that I'm getting for you guys. Um, this one was a little different. This one was interesting. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated with you. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope I see you next time. Bye!
All right, group number four. Let's see what we have here. This is the this is the Kawaii Tarot, by the way. People are always asking me which what deck this is. Um, all right, who's your next spouse going to be? That's a little too many cards. Who's your next spouse going to be? Group four. Ten of Wands. Oh, wow. Ace of Wands. Okay. Queen of Cups. Oops. High Priestess. There's a card went in the floor. The Magician. Ooh. Five of Cups. Five of Swords. Oh, geez. The Star and the Six of Pentacles. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. Okay. So, group number four. Um, right away, I feel like this person is probably some kind of soulmate. Um, because we've got a couple cards here that are indicating that to me. Um, that would indicate, you know, a spiritual connection. We've got Queen of Cups. This card always makes me feel like there's some sort of, like, psychic or energetic connection between two people. Um, the High Priestess, similar energy. The Star card, this is kind of like... Um, this card talks about fate, right? So it's, it gives me the sense that there's something sort of fated about this. Um, let's see. And also in the center of this spread, we have the Magician, which is about manifestation. So I feel like this is somebody that the universe is manifesting into your life. I feel like this is someone that you don't know yet, probably for most of you. Um, I'm getting a lot of fire energy. I feel like I feel like this is someone who may be kind of might be kind of old fashioned in some ways, but also very loving and caring. I've, I'm, I'm getting a strong like masculine vibe, but this person doesn't have to be a man, right? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, oh, anyway. Um, I just feel like this is somebody that would want to take care of you. <clears throat> okay. And I think it's somebody that With the, with the Ten of Wands and the Five of Swords and the Five of Cups, I think, I, I feel like this is a person who has a lot of baggage, who maybe has a lot of demons that they um, carry around with them, right? Ten of Wands, it's about having a, carrying a heavy burden. Five of Swords, this card a lot of times makes me think of like self-destructive behaviors or thought patterns. And Five of Cups is about sadness, grief, loss. So I think, I feel like this is, um, for a lot of you guys, this is a person who's lost a lot in their lifetimes. Like they may not have very many family members left, um, maybe because they've died or because they are estranged or something like that. Um... The Ace of Wands, though, it feels like this is somebody who, despite all of the things that they've been through, um, this is someone who is still very much a doer, still a go-getter. Like, they, they try not to think about the past because it is 
it, it makes them feel like shit, right? Um, and this person might be somebody who's kind of reluctant to address things like that. So they may have a lot of, like, repressed feelings and that kind of thing that, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not good for you, but I get the sense that this could be somebody who maybe doesn't really believe that anybody can help them. You know what I mean? Um, but the Ace of Wands also tells me that, like, your relationship with this person would be very passionate. Like, I feel like there would be, there's going to be a lot of attraction, a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Um, I feel like you would have a lot of fun with this person. Like, as much sad and negative energy as this person has, like, I feel like they, they always manage to put on a happy face. You know, like, I don't think that most people would realize that, you know, there's, there's all of this, like, inside them. You know what I mean? They're good at hiding, at, at uh, masking the pain that they feel. Um, let's see. Let's get some oracle cards for you guys. Let's see. Tell us a little bit more about this person. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Your commitment is being tested and a personal issue reaches resolution. Um, so I think it was group one or group two. Might have been group one got these exact cards. Um, so that's kind of weird. So with this card, I feel like this is going to be a relationship that will test you in some ways. Um... Because this person I see has, you know, a lot of problems, <laughs> you know, they have a lot of demons, they have a lot of baggage, I feel like it's not always going to be easy for you guys, right? I feel like it, it, there's, there's going to be some trials um, in your relationship. However, um, I mean, overall, like, I feel like this would be extremely, uh, an extremely loving relationship and and very um prosperous right so it's kind of like how much are you going to be willing to go through to you know be with this person to uh to love this person right this card is basically just saying like it's not going to be an easy road being with this individual um, you may have times where you feel like you have to make a choice between them and, you know, something else. You may feel like, you, you may at times think about leaving, but then, you know, your love for this person is going to kind of... <sighs> It's, it's going to make that difficult because, you know, I, I do feel like there's going to be a ton of love in this connection. Um, so, you know, that makes it difficult when things are hard, when, when things get diff, uh, geez, when things, I feel like there will be times when things just kind of blow up with this person and like I I don't feel like I'm not seeing like fights or anything between the two of you I'm seeing this person having problems that are caused by you know their own like internal issues or issues with their family members or you know I feel like most of the issues that will be present in this relationship will be caused by external factors. Okay, let me put it that way. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to talk about 
physical appearances or anything like that because those things are so changeable. Um, you know, my intention with this, with these readings today was just kind of like the, you know, your next spouse's overall um, energy, you know, what's, what's the gist of the energy that they're um, going to be bringing towards you. So, yeah, group number four, that's your reading. That is your future spouse. Um, not, I, not an easy relationship, but I feel like it's going to have a lot of love in it. And, you know, I feel like there's, there is a light at the end of that tunnel. You know, there is, um, it's always darkest before the dawn, right? That's what they say. So, um, not an easy path with this person, but I feel like, I feel like it'll, it'll be worth it in the end. Okay. So group four, that's your reading. I hope it resonates with you. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you next time. We're going to move on now to group five. All right. So group five, my last deck. This is the Wildwood Tarot. So, all right, we already got one card. We have the Four of Bows. Ooh, wow. Um, group five, who's your next spouse gonna be? Okay, Three of Bows, Ace of Vessels, the Green Man, <laughs> The Page of Vessels, the Knight of Stones, let's get three more, come on, give me three more cards please, that's balance, okay. <laughs> the bowl star and the ace of bows so we've got three bows cards we've got the green man which corresponds to the emperor um, in the traditional tarot and at the bottom of the deck is the eight of bows so more fire energy um, all right group five what's up I feel like for some of you, you already know this person. For others of you, you don't. Okay, it's kind of like, I feel like it's kind of 50-50 for that. The Three of Bows here, this card makes me feel like whether you know this person or not, you have been waiting. You've been waiting for something like this. For someone like this, I should say. Okay, um, you've been waiting for somebody who, you know, makes you feel some type of way, who is special, who's different from every anybody else that you've ever dated, you know, um, and if you already know them, like, I feel like you, I feel like you're going to know who this person is that I'm talking about because I feel like you recognize that this person is is different like they make you feel a different way than anyone else ever has and I feel like a lot of you guys are connected to this person energetically like maybe in the 5d um sorry about that guys <laughs> I had a phone call and I had to stop recording for a second anyway where was I yeah this person I feel like you already have a connection to possibly like in the 5d right energetic connection psychic connection this person could be a high level soulmate or twin flame we have the star so you know this card showed up in the other in the in the previous reading um and like i said there that gives me this feeling that something about this connection is destined um you know the two of you were fated to be in each other's lives okay um Plus the balance card, you know, this is sort of like you, the two of you, you know, balance each other out. Like, I'm getting like 
that you sort of mirror each other in some ways, right? Um, and there's also this feeling of like healing. There's a healing energy to this connection. Hmm. With the green man, I feel like this is a relationship that will be very stable. If my camera would focus, there we go. Um, a connection that would be very stable, that will be, um, what am I, what's, what's the word I'm looking for, you guys? Uh, matured? I think if, if this is someone that you've already met, um, they may not have acted super interested in the past, or they may have seemed interested at first and then kind of backed off. Um, this card is telling me that they are changing, that they are becoming more responsible, more, you know, um, more of a leader, um, so that, you know, when they come back or when you come together again, they will have, you know, the, the, there will be a more mature energy about them and they will be more um, serious about coming together with you, right? Because I feel like this is somebody that has lots of, lots of love towards you, right? Ace of Cups and Ace of Bows, this is basically, um, this is like the Ace of Wands. So two aces here, this is a new beginning. So um, <clears throat> if you already know this person, this is what they're wanting, a new beginning in, you know, romance and a, a rekindling of, you know, the attraction that you have towards each other. Um, they want to get to know you better on a deeper level. They want to open up to you emotionally. If you don't know this person yet, that's what they're going to want <laughs> when they meet you. Um, but I feel like a lot of you probably already do know this person. I know I said earlier that it felt kind of half and half, but I think, I don't know. I don't know. Just take this however it resonates. Um, if you know this person already, the Page of Cups is saying that they are wanting to come towards you with an offer. Okay. Um, it's, it's taking them a while. Knight of Stones, it's taking them a little while to get there. Whether you know them now or not, I feel like it's going to take them a little while to come towards you. Um, your relationship may be a little bit, um, it might be some time in the making, you know what I mean? Sorry, my cat is up here. Boo-boo, you can't be up here right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, he's wreaking havoc. Um, <laughs> anyway. But yeah, um, I, I feel like this person probably will start out being kind of distant towards you, but then um, as they, I think as they come to understand the connection you have, I think things are going to change. Like, I feel like in the, in the start, this person's not going to know, or they maybe won't understand um, why they feel the way that they do about you. Um, cause I get the sense that this is going to be a really strong connection, like, you know, um, and, and so it might kind of scare them at first, but then once they understand it and once they are no longer afraid of it, I feel like things will start to happen much more quickly, right? And things will change and once things start changing, it's going to be like rapid, you know, um, things are going to move fast. Okay, guys, so let me pull out some Oracle cards for you now. 
I've mentioned this in all the other readings so far. Um, I'm not really going to be talking about physical characteristics today. Just, you know, your person's um, overall energies and, you know, what your relationship might be like. So let's see what these oracle cards have to say. A personal issue reaches resolution. Two other piles today have gotten this same card. So your person might have some stuff that they... Um, Oops, I dropped one in the floor. Your person might have some stuff that they need to work through before they are ready to, you know, really get serious. You know what I mean? We also have show the world the real you. So, yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, this person's going to be kind of a little bit scared of this connection at first. Because I just feel like it's going to be so much more intense than anything that you've, either of you have ever really felt before. Um, and so they may be reluctant to actually open up to you. Um, it's, like I said, I feel like it's going to take them a while to get comfortable and to figure out what they're going to do. But once that happens, you know, they're going to show you the real them and the relationship's going to start to move much faster. Okay, guys. Um, and like I said, something, there's going to be something that this person's going to feel like, I feel like this connection is going to prompt this person to work through some issue that they have. It could be that they feel insecure. It could be that they have a uh, lack of confidence or lack of self-esteem that you might, you know, kind of, somehow push them to address um and it may not be intentional it might just be like you know they meet you and they start to wonder like why why do I feel this way about this person why do I feel like I'm not good enough for this person that kind of thing and that might be the thing that um pushes them to um do do some like shadow work for themselves and once they're finished or once they've made progress with that that's when they'll come, that's when they'll really come running towards you, right? So, let's see. Is there anything else? <clears throat> I feel like this is someone who's quite soft-spoken. Male or female, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like, I feel like this is somebody who is soft-spoken, gentle, very empathetic, right? They could be an empath. Um, just very caring and like somebody who is going to see you as something that they can aspire to be. You know, I'm just seeing like a lot of admiration towards you. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, I said that when you meet each other, they might feel... Uh, inclined to make some changes in their own life and that could be you know a contributing factor like they see you as someone who is very caring and very loving and maybe they're like I want to be more like that you know what I mean so um but I mean I think they already are like that but but maybe they want to um maybe they don't really see it see it about themselves maybe they don't realize you know just maybe they don't see all of the good qualities that they actually have you know what I mean but this person just feels very innocent maybe innocence not a good word but like their intentions seem pure and it feels like this is a pure-hearted person okay um somebody who just wants to love and be loved right I like this, guys. This is good. Um, yeah, group five, that's pretty much it. That's all the messages that I'm getting for you today. So that's uh, the gist of the person you're going to marry. Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope that it resonated with you. Uh, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye!